So today I want to answer the question if it's really worth moving to Colombia. If you guys have been following my journey, I've lived here for two and a half years. And in this time, I've lived a whole entire life. You know, I opened a business, I got married, I've changed cities, I've lived in a couple cities now. So the short answer for me, yes, it was, but I think for most people is going to be depends. Today I want to talk about the pros and the cons of living here in Colombia, things I miss about the States, things that I don't miss about the States, and my overall recommendations if you guys are looking to live here. The first thing I want to ask you is that can you take the good with the bad. A lot of people come to Colombia and complain that it's not like the States, but also left the United States because they hate how the US is, right? If you come here to Colombia, there's a lot of things that you have to take that comes with the country. The States is very materialistic, so the service is really good. Because of that, that's why we have a very materialistic culture. I don't think there's any perfect country in the world. A lot of people come to Medellin for like three to six months and they get so like, oh my God, it's so beautiful here, you know, with the whole entire honeymoon phase. But I don't think that's very realistic. After living here for a couple of years, you start to see how really everything is and you realize that Colombia just like any other country has its faults. So what kind of people is Colombia good for? I would say Colombia is really good for digital nomads looking to spend less money, people who value quality of life over money. You know you may be making a lot less money here but because your dollar goes so far you're probably going to live a much better life here than you would back in the states. People who don't mind learning Spanish. Colombia is a pretty Spanish heavy country. In Medellin I feel like it's pretty tourist friendly but in most parts of Colombia people don't really speak English. So if you want to live in some of the lower key areas you need to learn how to speak Spanish. People who are more traditional and are looking for a partner. Colombia's three best exports are coffee, wives, and stepkids. <laughs> and someone who doesn't mind a less international country. You know, Colombia is still pretty untapped. Bogota has a lot of like international cultures, but in general, most of Colombia is still pretty Latin and still pretty like to themselves. So I want to talk about some of the pros of living here. Obviously, number one is the people. Colombian people are some of the best people you'll ever meet in your life, which is extremely welcoming, extremely nice nice. Their family values are so strong and that's something that I personally value a lot about Colombia. Here the living cost is extremely cheap for us. You can live an upper middle class lifestyle here for like a thousand dollars a month. The public transportation in general is pretty good. Bogota is a little harder because it's more spread out but Medellin the public transportation is great. Here in Manizales the public transportation is excellent as well. I would say like if you're looking for a relationship, Colombian relationships whether you're looking for a man or a woman are some of the best. Like Latin people just love really hard. I would say the access to healthy, affordable, affordable, fresh food. Produce here is just so readily available that you can get it anywhere. It's extremely cheap. And the meat here is extremely fresh as well. Living in the Eje Cafetero, you can literally see the cows roaming around. And if you drive 10 minutes outside of the city, you can see all the coffee plants and the banana plants. Colombian culture in general is just really awesome. It's always a fun time hanging out with Colombians, how they value their family. It's such a welcome change from how independent we are back in the States. In my opinion, I like the weather. You know, Medellin, the weather is perfect. Everybody likes it. I live here in Manizales. It rains a lot here, but I like the cold. You just sleep a lot better. You always get to wear a jacket so you get to like style up a little more. When the sun's out, it's really, really beautiful here. It never gets too hot. It's really up to personal preference. I like how the Catholic values in Colombia are pretty strong. You go to the big cities like Bogota and Medellin, you don't see it as much, but most of the smaller cities still have these Catholic values. As someone who's Christian, that's very important to me. I like how close we are to nature. I think just being able to go outside and look at the mountains and see how beautiful everything is really puts things into perspective. And I think it gives us a lot of peace. I like how in Colombia there's a lot less woke BS even though you know the LGBT all that stuff movement that's coming in general I would say that people here in Colombia are less offended by stuff. You can make a fat joke people don't get offended. You can call each other based on race you know people don't really get offended whereas in the states I feel like everybody's just extremely sensitive. I like how people here have a love for animals and freaking the even the dogs on the street are really well behaved. I like how Colombia in general is not very materialistic and that's because things here cost a lot of money. Because they don't have a lot of money they're poor they value like family and like quality time a lot more. Colombia is a really good place to learn Spanish. Colombia and Mexico are the two best places to learn Spanish, but I think Colombian Spanish is the most beautiful from what I've heard. I like Mexican Spanish, but uh, sometimes it sounds a little whiny. But Colombian Spanish to me is like, especially the Paisa Spanish is really beautiful to hear. I think Colombia in general is a pretty easy place to start a business. It's very capitalist friendly here. It takes a lot of influence from the United States in that regard. I like the avocado man that passes by my house every single day. You know, it happened in Medellin and it happens here money is always too it's great i love that the women here take care of themselves right you know appearance is very important in general i feel like the women here are just generally more attractive putting on makeup and going out and looking good is kind of like a part of the culture and that's something that i admire because i want my woman to look like a woman so what are some of the cons well first off i would say colombia is pretty superficial there's a bureaucracy for everything and it takes forever to get things done they don't communicate and just the systems here are so disorganized i talked about it in a previous video how the notary lost my 
my birth certificate. I thought I already sorted it out, but my document didn't arrive on time. So it's just like a bunch of BS. Colombian people are extremely impunctual. I think it's very rude not arriving on time, but Colombian people in general, they're some of the most impunctual people you'll ever meet. I would say like the roads and the infrastructure here are in general pretty terrible. There's some places where it's good, but there's always traffic in the big cities, especially here in Manizales. A lot of the roads are destroyed. And that leads to like the fact that Colombia has a lot of corruption, right? Just in general, Colombia has a history littered with violence. There's always been like a bunch of corruption in government. If it's more or less in the States, you know, it's hard to say, but it's something that the people here complain about a lot. You can see that there's homeless people everywhere. Definitely a lot more than the States. I think in, especially in LA, right? The homeless people are like coagulated to the homeless areas, but here homeless people just walk around everywhere. Here, the, they're not so aggressive, but if you go to like Cartagena or Medellin or some of the bigger cities, the homeless people there are very aggressive. And that leads to like crime and safety. Colombia in general is not an extremely safe place. If you go to the big cities like Bogota, Medellin, it's not super safe. You see reports all the time about people getting robbed, people getting mugged. In the States, we have a problem with gun violence, but like everyday petty crime like robbing and stuff is definitely not as common there as it is here in Colombia. There's a lot of people trying to take advantage of foreigners. You'll get gringo prices. The taxi drivers, especially in Medellin and Bogota, are not the most honest. Real estate companies definitely trying to scam foreigners. That happened to me when I was in Medellin. Here in Manizales, thankfully, the companies are more honest. In Medellin, it's just like a pain in the butt if you're not a Colombian. Thankfully, I have my wife now, so you know we put everything in her name. Finding an unfurnished apartment is annoying if you don't know people. I'm gonna make another video talking about how I got my apartments here in Colombia. In general, it's a pain in the butt trying to find an unfurnished place here. There's a lack of food diversity. You know, that's a very big complaint a lot of foreigners make. A lot of foreigners hate Colombian food. I personally do like it, but it's not as good as my home Asian food. And trying to find good Asian food here is extremely difficult. The big cities have horrible, horrible traffic. You know, coming from LA, I hated the traffic there. Medellin traffic is just like LA traffic. And in Bogota, it's way worse. And because of that, there's noise everywhere. If you go to Medellin, you're walking around. It's just hard to find a place that's just like quiet and peaceful. There's noise everywhere. Your neighbors are playing music until two to three in the morning. Here in Manizales, it's less so, but even on the streets in the middle of the night, you know, there's still be people walking, making a lot of noise. Colombians are like loud people in general. There's not a lot of English speakers in Colombia. If you go to Bogota, Medellin, they're more, I guess, tourist friendly, but most of Colombia does not speak English. And lastly, just like a huge amount of druggings and scammings on Tinder. Medellin just has like a really poor reputation now with all the YouTubers, you know, sexualizing the women there. So a lot of men go there for the wrong reasons. I'm not judging if you're trying to find a relationship here, but I think men have very twisted expectations of what the women are here are like. And because of that they find themselves in trouble all the time. So I guess it really depends on like who you're hanging out with, but it's something to keep in mind as well. So what do I miss from the States? Specifically from LA, the biggest thing I miss about everything is the diversity. There's just a diversity in everything. Diversity of people, diversity of food, and diversity of like landscapes, right? You can drive to the beach pretty much in like an hour from wherever you are, or you can even go up to the mountains in an hour, an hour and a half. Here in Manizales, we don't have a beach. Trying to find a body of water, you have to fly to Cartagena or Santa Marta. The diversity of people is a huge thing too. You know, I took it for granted. In LA, you can walk down like Venice Beach and you'll hear 10 different languages being spoken in five minutes. I can have a Middle Eastern neighbor who's next to a black person, who's next to a white person, who's next to a Mexican person. Where I grew up, that's literally how we were divided up. It's crazy. In the US, there's definitely a lot more economic opportunity. In Colombia, if you're born poor, it's pretty hard to become rich. Whereas in the States, I feel like if you were born poor, there's a lot more opportunity to become rich. I think the US in general has really good infrastructure. They invest a lot into the roads and the infrastructure. The public transportation may not always be the the best but in general you know it's very car friendly definitely miss the international food being able to eat such good asian food all the time i love korean food that's my favorite and then like japanese and chinese food are like a close second latin food mexican food is great but i don't think anything compares to how good asian food is and i also miss amazon amazon is such a convenience being able to have anything that you want shipped to you within one to two days like here if i want to get anything like i just got this new mic i'd have a subscriber bring it to me from new york because like i have to pay import fees if i want to ship it to to Colombia. And if I want to buy a new Mac or if I want to buy new equipment, you know, I kind of have to wait until someone comes from the States because it, it, it's a lot cheaper. This computer that I got it was like 2019 Mac was almost twice the price when I bought it in Medellin and it was used and it wasn't even like a new model. And also I just miss like being so close to like my family and friends. Unfortunately, I don't talk to a lot of people from the States anymore because I'm just such a different person now. So I've definitely lost a lot of friends, but that's something that I love about Manizales because all my new friends, all my friends here, we live so close to each other that we can see each other all the time. So what do I not miss about the state? I made a couple videos on it already, but most of it has to deal with like the woke culture. So sick and tired of this woke BS being shoved down my throat. Don't call me a bigot when I don't agree with how you live your life. Like trans rights and everything. I don't care if you want to change your sex. Stop trying to drag me into it and make me support that shit. I hate how in the US we 
we just worship celebrities and we just seem to worship money. I want to live in a society personally where, you know, people have a fear of God. I hate how everybody's so sensitive in the States and I hate how women are becoming so masculine and men are so feminine. Just look at how American men talk, man. Most men over there they have such high voices. They talk so softly. I don't know, like just their vibe is so feminine and I hate that, man. I like being in a place where men are men and women are women. And that's what's made dating so weird in America. I may make a different video in the future about this. The Bible is very clear on how relationships should be, expectations for men, expectations for women. But in the States right now, it's just kind of like a free for all. You do you, do what makes you happy or what makes you feel good, right? It's more about worshiping like the individual. But I would argue that that's made us more depressed because none of us really know what we want, right? We think we want something. We think we want to sleep around. We think we want sexual freedom, but that's just made us into the most depressed society. And it's crazy that the US is so rich, but suffers the most with mental health. I don't know any depressed people here in Colombia, whereas everybody in the States, I feel like is dealing with some sort of like mental health crisis, right? So do I personally regret it? At the end of the day, no, I don't regret it. There's a lot of things that I miss about the States, but I would say in general, I'm happy with my decision moving to Colombia. I'm very happy here. I want to raise my kids here. I want to homeschool my kids. And because the dollar is so strong, fortunately I can do that here. It's crazy that here I'm, with the money I'm earned, I'm in like in the top 10%. But when I go back to the States with the money I earn, I'm in the bottom 10%. When you don't have to worry about money that much anymore, more, you just feel like this weight off your shoulders and I can focus on things that make me happy right like spending time with my girl doing YouTube doing music and running my restaurant you know in the past I wanted to get rich and it would be cool to have a million dollars but it's not like a huge priority anymore if I can provide for my family and I can live life and be a good father and a good husband to me that's definitely more important I've just like given up a lot of the materialistic stuff that I had back in the States now I just appreciate like family and people and my time here and you know my relationship with God so Colombian culture just fits with me personally I would love to hear what you guys Guys think? Do you think Colombia is for you? Have you guys moved to a new place? You know, what has that been like for you? I would love to hear everything in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.